Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik looking down here in the lower left-hand corner for the on-screen version. And as of right now, things are pretty quiet across the Mid-South. This is our online video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We are live right now on Periscope, Twitter, Google+, and YouTube. And as of right now, some pretty quiet conditions across much of the area. Cool and breezy, no question about that. Temperatures right now on that bar, 37 degrees, just past 7 o'clock on Tuesday morning. Winds farther over out of the north at about 11 miles an hour and could see a chance of some scattered areas of very light precipitation for this morning. It doesn't look like much at this point, but we could be seeing again the possibility of a few scattered showers into parts of the Mid-South. Very, very light, maybe just drizzle several thousand feet up. We've got snowfall, but we may be looking at the possibility of a little bit of that coming down to the ground as very light drizzle, maybe even a snowflake or two as temperatures again are very conducive for some of that, but nothing freezing on the roadways and no blizzard conditions like they're seeing back toward the northeast. If you'd like to know more, please join us again at wreg.com slash weather for more information, and we'll have more details on the rest of your forecast coming up here in just a little bit. But otherwise, things again are decently quiet for right now. Heading to the fourth planet from the sun, the Curiosity Rover. If you'd like to see more about what's going on, with the conditions on Mars at the Curiosity Rover Remote Environmental Monitoring Station. 23 degrees was the high temperature on Mars. Pretty warm temperature for there. 97 degrees the low. Ground temperature 54 degrees and a low temperature of minus 117 UV level of course on the high side. And of course if you'd like to see more about that all you have to do is go to mars.nasa.gov for more information. Back toward Hawaii looking into a live volcano crater from the United States Geological Survey. The Halema Uma overlook in Kilauea, Hawaii, showing again the continuing eruptions of the volcano out that direction. If you'd like to see more about that, you can go to usgs.gov for more information. A little closer to home, back toward the area around the Beltway, the Washington Monument was visible pretty clearly just a couple of hours ago, but as of right now, a lot more snow out there is doing a good job of filtering things out. The Potomac and back toward the Lincoln Memorial, the rest of D.C. and across the Potomac, showing again a lot of snow starting to stack up out there is that nor'easter that moved through our area as just a minor storm system is now getting a lot deeper and a lot stronger. If you'd like to find out more from the National Park System, all you have to do is go to uh, nps.gov or follow the hashtag FindYourPark on Twitter. Purchase Knob from the Great Smoky Mountains, also getting a lot of snowfall this morning. Decently on the cold side, visibility is pretty low in parts of the Appalachians. And again, find that one at nps.gov for more. Closer to home even, Germantown City Hall, a lot of very cold conditions out there. Cloudy skies above the horizon in Germantown. You can see Poplar Pike and the lights of East Memphis quite nicely out on the horizon. More of our webcams available at wreg.com slash webcams. Currently on Germantown Parkway in the background over here from the St. Francis of Assisi camera. Temperatures again back in the mid to upper 30s with cloudy skies across much of the Mid-South. Breezy winds out of the north at about 10 to 15 miles an hour so we will be looking at wind chills throughout the course of the rest of the day today so expect Expect that as you head out the door, and that's going to be continuing throughout the rest of the day. Isolated chances of light drizzle. We may even see some sunshine toward about lunchtime today as those winds continue fairly breezy, so wind chills could be a problem throughout the day and right on into this evening. Sunrise for this morning at 7.10, sunrise tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning at 7.10, sunrise today at 7.12, and we're rounding up to about 12 hours of daylight as we get closer to this weekend as the days begin to get longer as we approach springtime. Yesterday's highs, mid to upper 40s, well below normal, didn't even hit 50 degrees in Memphis, 33 the low temperature and 63 and 44 are normal high temperatures for this time of the year. Precipitation in the Mid-South, we managed to wind up with two-tenths of an inch of rainfall yesterday, and that means we're only behind by about two inches now for the mid for the Memphis area in the Mid-South. Very well on the dry side, so a little bit more rainfall would not be such a bad thing. Rest of the Mid-South at this point in time, we've got some fairly quiet conditions across much of the area early on, but we're just not looking at anything in the way of major summertime weather coming our direction. The view from across the Mid-South, let me get this a little bit better so we can see everybody's temperatures in there. For the rest of the day today, again, temperatures mainly back into the mid to upper 30s, right on in through News Channel 3 live at 9. Lunchtime temperatures today, upper 30s north of I-40, lower 40s to the south of I-40, and right on into the metro area. 
So that's where we're going to see, again, some the fairly cool conditions. Those moving lines on screen, that is where you see the winds coming down out of the north, right off of Hudson Bay in Canada. So some very cold Canadian air on the way, keeping the temperatures well below normal. These high temperatures for the rest of the day today, mid to upper 40s at best. That is about 20 degrees below normal for this time of the year. So very much on the chilly side out there throughout the rest of the day today. The gray colors on screen, that is where we see, again, the possibility of just plain cloud cover out across the Mid-South, and we'll see more of that throughout the rest of the evening into around about News Channel 3 at 10 with Jim Jagger's complete forecast coming up there. But watch what happens as we go into overnight. Most of the clouds sticking around the Mid-South are gone by about mid-morning tomorrow and that means without that cloud cover acting as a barrier the heat of the day from the rest of the day from today just radiates away from the mid-south for up around the surface and heads away from the area which means our temperatures tomorrow morning will probably be even colder than they were this morning so we're looking again at some very chilly numbers for early at the bus stop on Wednesday morning but some nicer weather coming our direction no question about that so mid 40s for today cloudy a little bit of light drizzle from time to time but not doing too bad out there breezy throughout the rest of the day even cooler tomorrow with temperatures barely even making the lower 40s some parts of the mid-south Dyersburg back up toward Blytheville the Missouri Boot Hill I would not be surprised if you didn't make it out of the mid to upper 30s in parts of the area close to those locations now heading into Thursday we start to improve the temperatures and that trend will continue right on in through the weekend mostly cloudy more clouds sticking around through Thursday chances of showers and thunderstorms coming our way as we go toward around the area of St. Patrick's Day on Friday and some very much nicer temperatures back into the lower to mid 60s for highs into the weekend now we may have some showers and thunderstorms early on Saturday. We will be getting rid of most of those as we head through the weekend. So more sunshine, very mild temperatures back into the mid to upper 60s and looking very pleasant. First day of spring will be coming up this Monday starting at 5.30 a.m. And temperatures very mild throughout the next several days back into the lower to mid 70s as we go into the first full week of springtime. So looking very nice out there. Maybe an occasional shower toward next week Thursday, but beyond that we're just not looking at too much out there. Last night it was in Tunica. Tonight we'll be in Mariana, Arkansas on the other side of the Mississippi River at the Mariana Fire Department. That's at 22 Court Street in Mariana, 6.30 p.m. tonight. Your chance to learn about becoming a Skywarn spotter in the Mid-South. If you've never attended one of these before, lasts about an hour, hour and a half, totally free. You don't have to pay for this. Your tax dollars and my tax dollars pay for this training, and it's a great way to get ready to go for severe weather. Meteorologists and personnel of the National Weather Service in Memphis teach you all about what you need to know before, during, and after severe weather, what to report back to the National Weather Service so they can warn people like me and my colleagues so we can tell everybody else on broadcast and social media what may be coming your way. So your eyes and ears will be the link to the National Weather Service to help everybody else stay safe. And if you'd like to know more about this, tonight in Mariana, Arkansas, Thursday in New Albany, Mississippi, Crockett County Emergency Operations Center, Saturday, March 18th at 10 o'clock this morning, 10 o'clock in the morning. That's this coming Saturday. Next Tuesday at Haywood County EOC in Brownsville, Tennessee, and Thursday after that, March 23rd, 6:30 p.m. Panola County in Sardis, Mississippi. And on the same day, Thursday, March 23rd, the one will be held for Memphis at Lord of Life Lutheran Church in East Memphis at 6.30 p.m. So that's all coming your way. Great opportunity to learn more about severe weather, so please consider becoming a Skywarn spotter. Check out my forecast available on the Memphis AM radio show and following that on Talk Back Live on Yahoo Sports Radio with Bob, Josh, and Mr. C. Austin out there if you'd like to keep up to date with what's going on with the weather. And don't forget to download our weather app. It's available whatever platform you've got. Go to the, the your particular app store and search WREG Weather for more information. And, of course, if you've got weather pictures around the Mid-South, we'd love to show them on air, but we can't do that unless you send them to us. So please do that. Send them to me at aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. Going to be monitoring the weather for the possibility of some more of that drizzle coming up throughout the course of the rest of the morning. So stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online. Available again at Facebook, Twitter, Google+, WordPress, YouTube, Tumblr, Periscope, and also on Game Boy. As soon as I can figure out how to make that happen, I will let you know about that. Stay tuned to News Channel 3. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from downtown Memphis with your latest forecast update on our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us.